just to kind of start with, I think that was uh, to open up the tournament, a uh, pretty entertaining college baseball game. Um, the uh, there, there was pretty much a little bit of everything. I think there was some good pitching, um, kind of especially later in the ball game. Um, some really good offense, base running, good defense, up no air to the team. Uh, I thought the story of the game uh, was I thought they made one more play than we did today. And uh, the uh, I thought the offense for Indiana State had a really good approach against Aiden. Um, for him to come out, uh, you know, and throw three and two-thirds innings, then get, get ten hits. No strikeouts just kind of goes to tribute to, uh, to the approach they did. I thought they did a great job. Um, and then I think the next thing was they had a, probably just a little bit better bullpen than we did. Um, the uh, Grier, who, they, who came in, uh, four innings, uh, no runs, uh, four hits, only one walk, five punch outs. I thought that was pretty good. Uh, but, you know, it's a, it's a little bit different type of game, you know, when you got a, got a four-team tournament. Uh, I think we both, both coaches managed the game a little bit differently. Um, and the guys that we brought in, you know, we were going to win the game. I thought, uh, thought we got some big hits and some big moments. Um, I thought Dion did a great job at the back end of the game to, uh, to give us a chance. So, um, again, it's just one of those things, one run ball game, probably could split it up, you know, a lot of different, a lot of different ways. Uh, but maybe hey, just kind of the short end of it today and uh, we'll get ready to go tomorrow. Coach, thank you very much. Questions for the student athletes in the middle? Adam Sparks, Tennessee, and uh, for Will, you had a whole lot more success than, than the guys earlier in the game did. What did you do to uh, to shut down their bats late in the game? Uh, just try not to make mistakes, like uh, make my pitches and don't give them a chance to hit the ball hard like they were. Uh, Nate, what, you guys had some trouble hitting their reliever, Gower, at the end, Brower. Um, what, what changed from the starter to the reliever? How was he effective there late in the game? Uh, with, with the starter, he wasn't really locating his off speed, so I think we were able to sit on fastball. And uh, whenever he made a mistake, uh, Nick can pay for it. And then with the closer, it seemed like he was just mixing his pitch as well, uh, getting ahead on our guys. And, uh, you know, he was throwing change up fastball for strikes. And the, the speed, I mean, it was a big difference. So it was hard to time up uh, both of them. And Coach mentioned they made one more play than you guys. Does that make you optimistic that you're close to where you need to be or frustrated you didn't finish it off? A little bit of both, I think. Uh, you know, when, when you get this far and you come that close, I think it sucks even more. And, uh, you know, to know that we're one swing away or one play away, like he was saying, uh, I think more frustration than anything. But uh, just the ability for us to, to flush it and, uh, you know, sleep sleep with, without having to worry about it. And coming back tomorrow and being ready to play, it's going to be big for us. This is David Berry, American Press. Uh, Nate, just, um, you guys have had to fight back all season. Um, now you, elimination game tomorrow. Just uh, how do you feel, How do you and how does the team feel right now? Uh, I mean, Coach Hill said it, or I think it was Coach Lee actually said it in the, in the hitters meeting. Uh, we play with our backs against the wall, it seems like, all season. And uh, so it's nothing new to us. Uh, just just preparing like we have been and coming out tomorrow and being ready to play and, uh, you know, living another day. And then a question for both of you. Just first uh, NCAA tournament experience. Uh, just how was it? It was awesome. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, it was a roller coaster of a game, but it was, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. It was a great experience. That's all I can say. <laughs> Any other questions for the student athletes? Gentlemen, good luck tomorrow. Yes, sir. That. Thank you. You guys Thank can go if you want. Thank you. Uh, just a second. The, and then we'll come back with a series of questions for the head coach. Right. Go right ahead, Tom. Yes, sir. Talk a little bit with the uh, Terro Tree Star. You mentioned it was the second time around the order that the uh, state. What do you think changed maybe in their approach and maybe what did they see to be able to take advantage of something? I mean, you, the, the, the approach that I saw with them was uh, they were not going to probably get beat by his off-speed pitches today, um, which, you know, anytime a team goes into that with, with that type of approach, it just means you've got to command a little bit better. Um, one, of the, one of the two, whether it be a fastball or your breaking pitches. And, um, 
you could just see most of the pitches that uh, they, they kind of did some damage on were, were elevated. Um, probably a very low percentage uh, way to score a bunch of runs just to get five hits in a row, and they did that. Um, but like like I said, I think every one of them were just elevated, belt high, maybe a little bit you know a little bit higher. Um, probably go back and watch the video to kind of see it. But that, that was just kind of the, the feel of it because we even had a couple of guys with two strikes and we just couldn't quite put them away. Um, but again, kind of credit them. They, they just weren't going to get beat by his best pitch. And, um, you know, to, again, 10 hits and three and two thirds, no walks. I mean, uh, like I said, that's uh, and still only four runs. I mean, um, that, that was just kind of a credit, credit to them offensively and what they did. Coach, in, when you took uh, Brian out, I think he had just given up a base hit. Uh, I guess just what went into the decision to take him out one and then the bullpen had to go through a few arms today. Uh, just how does that, how will that affect you tomorrow? Um, well, I mean, the, the, the thought process was find a way to win the game right there. And uh, we hadn't used Macklemore yet and we knew we had Dion. And again, there were a couple other guys that we knew were available. Um, they had a couple of right-handers uh, coming up that, you know, had, had actually had some success against some left-handers. And, um, and it was just, you couldn't, to me, we couldn't try to lose the game with, with some a couple of our better guys not in the ball game right there. Uh, not that Ryan's not one of those guys, it just, um, that, that was the way the game kind of, kind of helped, felt to go there. Obviously, it didn't work out for us there. Um, they, they, they hit a good pitch, hit the ball out of the ballpark, and uh, it was a lead that never relinquished. So. Um, just one of those that just kind of gets you sometimes. Uh, uh, Dion will not be available tomorrow um, for us. Obviously, Aiden will not either. Um, but, you know, all the other guys will be ready. Uh, we'll start uh, ready with Eaton, and uh, we'll have to have some other guys uh, step up to try to get us to, to another game on Sunday. More questions? Yeah, Coach, um, you, you know, we talked about yesterday that um, it, it's the NCAA tournament, kind of anything can happen. You know, it, it, you guys would have been told that you get four runs across and get their starter out the fifth inning, 12 total hits. I think you feel pretty good ultimately about what you guys were able to do with uh, offensively today, huh? Yeah, I mean, I, I thought we were able to kind of bunch some hits together in the first inning. Um, and, and, you know, I, it, it could change. You get one more hit with two outs there, you can break the whole, you may break the whole game open, but it didn't work out that way in the first inning. I, I thought, uh, you know, just the fact of being able to kind of get, the, get that one, get out in the lead, I thought that was important. And then, like I said, that, that one inning where they punched three across, I mean, uh, just a couple plays, you know, uh, here or there, um, didn't work out for us. Um, but again, six to five, um, <laughs> I'm sure that game has a whole lot of stuff that you could sit there and break down one way or the other. Um, but, you know, it, it's kind of unique to see that. You, 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 I think you only see uh, three walks total between the two teams in 18 innings. So, um, so there, there was a, there was a lot. Again, I, it, it's crazy as sound. There was a lot of good things on both sides of it. Just depends on the, which parts you look at. So, um, but you know, I, I was proud of the boys. I mean, I know they were excited, um, and you know, you can kind of see it start to kind of settle down a little bit. It just became a regular baseball game after a little bit. Um, but hey, here we are again, and uh, we'll uh, we'll get to work for tomorrow. Any more questions? One more. And I'll ask you the same. Well, same thing I asked the players. Uh, first NCAA tournament uh, as a head coach. Uh, just how did it feel? I, I think you kind of said that it became a little bit more of a normal game later on. So just how did the game as a whole feel to you as, as head coach? I mean, I think the way it's settled in for us lately, um, we've got to know which guys, which buttons to push at the right at the at the right moment. Um, it uh, it just kind of flowed. I mean, I, you know, I, it wasn't uh, it wasn't fast paced. It wasn't um, anything. I mean, it was. It was the, I think the decision for me, the decisions were pretty clear um, with, with certain things. Uh, it wasn't ideal uh, for sure to bring Dion into the ball game at that point. Um, Noah, you had already gone through King and Michael Moore, um, and obviously Aiden had started the game. But um, I don't know. I thought the game was on the line right there, and um, and I thought you did a great job. And um, you, like I said, sometimes you just manage the game just a little bit differently. Um, but you know, just didn't get caught up in that. Didn't caught, get caught up in uh, hey, this is how we've always been doing it. Just that kind of stuff. But um, so um, you know, it was. Uh, it was a baseball game. I mean, I obviously want to come out with a win for the boys and, and those kind of things, but uh, we'll uh, we'll try to make do a better job of, of what we didn't do didn't do didn't do well, and uh, see if we can uh, you know get get one tomorrow and get to Sunday.
Coach, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.